For over a century, scientists believed Mosasaurus swam like a giant sea snake, slowly undulating through ancient oceans with clumsy lizard-like movements. Every textbook, every museum display, every documentary showed these massive predators as sluggish ambush hunters. Then researchers discovered fossil evidence that shattered everything we thought we knew about these creatures. Preserved tissues and anatomical details from Mosasaur fossils revealed features that completely overturned decades of scientific understanding about marine predation in the ancient seas. What they found hiding in these ancient remains would rewrite our entire understanding of how these apex predators dominated the prehistoric oceans. The first clues to this mystery emerged from limestone quarries near Maastricht in 1764, when workers discovered massive fossilized jaws embedded in the chalk. Early naturalists initially thought they had found the remains of a whale or crocodile, but Georges Cuvier's groundbreaking analysis in 1808 revealed something far more extraordinary. These were the bones of a giant marine lizard, unlike anything alive today. This revolutionary identification laid the foundation for decades of scientific speculation about how these ancient predators actually moved through the water. The logical reasoning behind the snake-like undulation theory seemed rock solid at the time. Scientists examined the flexible vertebral columns of mosasaurs and found striking similarities to modern monitor lizards and snakes. The numerous vertebrae, each connected by ball and socket joints, appeared perfectly designed for the sinuous wave-like movements that propel snakes across land and eels through water. Researchers noted how mosasaurs possessed elongated bodies with relatively small limbs, much like marine iguanas that swim using lateral undulation. The anatomical evidence seemed overwhelming, flexible spines, streamlined torsos, and paddle-like limbs that appeared secondary to body-driven propulsion. Yet this theory created a fundamental problem. If mosasaurs were slow undulators, relying on energy inefficient whole body waves to move through water, how did they become such dominant apex predators? Fossil evidence clearly showed these creatures ruling Cretaceous seas for over 25 million years, successfully competing against sharks, plesiosaurs, and other marine giants. The contradiction became increasingly difficult to ignore as paleontologists uncovered more evidence of their predatory success. Popular culture embraced the serpentine image, depicting mosasaurs as sluggish sea monsters that relied on ambush tactics rather than active pursuit. Museums displayed reconstructions showing these creatures moving with the lazy undulations of giant sea snakes. However, bite marks on fast swimming prey like sharks and sea turtles suggested a different reality. How could slow moving ambush predators consistently catch agile high speed targets? The evidence pointed toward active hunters capable of sustained pursuit, not passive lurkers waiting for unsuspecting prey. This scientific puzzle was about to be solved by fossil discoveries that would preserve anatomical details hidden for 66 million years. Paleontologists have uncovered mosasaur fossils with extraordinary preservation that defies normal fossilization processes. These exceptional specimens contain preserved bronchial tubes, traces of hemoglobin, and other soft tissues that typically decompose within days or weeks of an organism's death. Under normal circumstances, bacteria, oxygen, and chemical processes rapidly break down organic materials, leaving only the hardest structures like bones, teeth, and shells to fossilize. The preservation of delicate biological materials requires extraordinary conditions that occur perhaps once in millions of burial events. These exceptional fossils formed under very specific circumstances, rapid burial in oxygen, free sediments prevented bacterial decomposition, while unique mineral rich environments promoted the replacement of organic compounds with stable minerals. The mosasaurs had to be buried almost immediately after death sealed away from scavengers and decay processes that would normally erase all traces of soft anatomy. Such preservation events are so rare that paleontologists consider them scientific treasures. 
The preserved bronchial tubes within these fossils revealed respiratory systems designed for high energy activities rather than the passive lifestyle previously attributed to mosasaurs. These breathing structures showed adaptations for processing large volumes of oxygen during sustained physical exertion. The muscle attachment sites preserved in the soft tissues painted a completely different anatomical picture than scientists had constructed from bones alone. Dense networks of powerful muscles surrounded the vertebral column, indicating a body plan optimized for generating tremendous propulsive force. The most revolutionary discovery came from the tail region, where preserved fin structures looked nothing like the flexible appendage of a snake or eel. Instead, the soft tissues revealed a vertically oriented crescent shaped tail fin remarkably similar to modern sharks. The preserved cartilage showed a rigid framework designed to transfer maximum power from tail muscle contractions directly into forward thrust. This anatomical revelation would completely revolutionize the understanding of mosasaur locomotion, transforming them from sluggish undulators into powerful ocean athletes. The implications of this shark-like tail design were staggering for everything scientists thought they knew about ancient marine predation. The preserved tail fin revealed that mosasaurs had evolved the same propulsion system as modern sharks, a biological design so efficient it had been perfected twice in Earth's history. The vertical orientation and crescent shape of this tail structure matched the hydrodynamic principles that make sharks such formidable ocean predators. Unlike the horizontal tail flukes of marine mammals, vertical tail fins slice through water with minimal drag while generating maximum forward thrust through rapid side-to-side -side movements. Tail-driven propulsion operates on fundamentally different biomechanical principles than whole body undulation. When sharks beat their tails, the crescent-shaped channels water backward with tremendous force, creating an equal and opposite reaction that propels the animal forward. The rigid vertebral column transfers power efficiently from the tail muscles to the fin itself, concentrating all propulsive energy in a single point rather than dissipating it along the entire body length. Whole body undulation, by contrast, creates multiple pressure waves that actually work against each other, reducing overall efficiency and limiting maximum speeds. The crescent-shaped vertical tail fins concentrated immense power in rapid tail beats rather than the slow energy-wasting body waves previously attributed to these creatures. Preserved muscle attachment sites revealed massive tail muscles that could generate tremendous torque. The vertebral column showed specific modifications near the tail region, including reinforced joints and enlarged neural processes that anchored the powerful swimming muscles. These anatomical features supported a propulsion system capable of producing explosive acceleration and sustained high-speed swimming. The four flipper system worked alongside tail propulsion to create an incredibly maneuverable predator. These paddle-shaped limbs functioned as hydrofoils, providing precise steering control and rapid directional changes during high speed pursuits. Modified shoulder and hip joints allowed enhanced rotation, enabling mosasaurs to execute sharp turns while maintaining momentum. The combination of powerful tail thrust and agile flipper control created a swimming system optimized for both straight line speed and complex three-dimensional maneuvers. This revolutionary swimming ability would dramatically expand their hunting capabilities, allowing them to pursue prey across vast ocean territories that had previously been beyond their reach. These enhanced capabilities transformed mosasaurs from coastal opportunists into rulers of entire ocean ecosystems. Isotope analysis of mosasaur teeth reveals they didn't just change how they swam, they completely revolutionized where and what they hunted across the ancient oceans. Scientists extract carbon isotope data from fossilized tooth enamel to decode ancient foraging patterns and habitat preferences. The Delta 13C values preserved in these teeth function like chemical fingerprints 
revealing whether these predators hunted in shallow coastal waters or ventured into the deep ocean basins where different food webs existed. The progression from nearshore ambush hunting to offshore pursuit predation unfolded as mosasaurs developed their advanced swimming capabilities. Early mosasaurs with primitive propulsion systems remained close to coastlines where they could use ambush tactics against slower moving prey. As tail driven locomotion evolved, these marine reptiles gained access to entirely new hunting grounds in open ocean environments. The isotope signatures show a clear shift toward lower delta 13 C values in advanced species like Mosasaurus hoffmanni, indicating they occupied higher trophic levels and foraged in offshore waters previously inaccessible to their ancestors. Their enhanced speed and agility enabled them to target an incredibly diverse prey spectrum, including fast moving sharks and massive plesiosaurs that would have escaped slower predators. Evidence of mosasaurs taking down prey that should have been impossible for slow swimming predators to catch appears throughout the fossil record. Bite marks on sea turtle shells show the crushing power enabled by rapid approach speeds. These attack patterns indicate that mosasaurs could accelerate quickly enough to overwhelm even agile prey before they could escape. Stomach contents and coprolites reveal cannibalistic behavior and intense competition between different mosasaur species. One mosasaurus missouriensis specimen contained a fish larger than its own skull, demonstrating their ability to dismember oversized prey for consumption. Different mosasaur lineages specialized their tail fins and hunting strategies for specific prey types and habitats, with some developing more pronounced crescents for maximum speed, while others evolved broader fins for enhanced maneuverability in complex environments. The tail-driven propulsion system enabled mosasaurs to dominate marine ecosystems across multiple continents and ocean basins, establishing them as the ultimate marine predators of the late Cretaceous period. Yet this remarkable transformation from sluggish scavengers to apex ocean athletes represents just one example of how preserved anatomical details can completely overturn scientific understanding. These fossil discoveries illustrate how paleontological understanding continuously evolves as new evidence emerges from ancient rocks. Soft tissue preservation has completely rewritten the Mosasaur story, transforming them from sluggish sea snakes into the ocean's most sophisticated predators. Advanced imaging techniques and chemical analysis methods reveal anatomical details that remained hidden for millions of years, forcing scientists to reconsider fundamental assumptions about prehistoric marine ecosystems and the complex predator-prey relationships that shaped Cretaceous seas across multiple ocean basins. Other prehistoric creatures may be hiding similar secrets in their fossilized remains, waiting to overturn our assumptions about life in ancient seas. Future discoveries could reveal equally revolutionary adaptations in plesiosaurs, ichthyosaurs, and other marine reptiles that dominated Mesozoic oceans.